Ben Canole Lynn was sitting there. I said, your old courthouse is kind of run down. He said, no, it'll do for our little town. I said, that flight pole is leaning a bit. And that's a ragged old flag you got hanging on it. He said, have a seat. And I sat down. Is this the first time in our little town? I said, I think it is. And he said, I don't like to brag, but we're kind of proud of that ragged old flag. You see, we got a little hole in that flag there from Washington carried it across the Delaware. And it got powder burned the night Francis Scott King sat watching it and wrote, Oh, say, can you see? It got a bad riff in New Orleans with Pat and Ham and Jackson cooking us the seams. It almost fell at the Alamo beside the Texas flag, but she went on through. She got cut with a sword at Chancellorville and cut again on Shiloh Hill. There was Robert E. Lee, Beauregard and Bragg. The South flew hard on our ragged old flag. On Flanders Field in World War I, she got a great big hole for the Bertha gun. She turned blood red in World War II. She hung left and low by the time that was through. She was in Korea and Vietnam, sat over there by our Uncle Sam. She waved from our ships on the furry foam and proudly waves today on the moon. And now they're about to quit waving her back here at home. Her good land here, she's been abused. She's been burned, dishonored, denied, and refused. But the government for which she stands is scandalized throughout our land. She's getting pretty thin there and wearing thin, but she's in good shape for the shape she's in. She's been through a fire before, and I believe she can take a whole lot more. So we raise her up every morning and take her down every night. We don't let her touch the ground, and we fold her upright. On second thought, I do like to pray. I'm mighty proud of that ragged old flag.